Hello, my name is Dr. George C. Bradley, and today's presentation will be on Introduction to Man with the U Test Understanding Non Parametric Analysis. Let me get back out of this. Okay. Let's take a look at our introduction. We have three bullets here. Let's talk about a brief overview of the Man Whitney U test. The Man Whitney U test is a non parametric statistical test used to determine whether there is a significant difference between the distribution of two independent groups. Why is it used? The Mann-Whitney U-Test is employed when comparing two independent groups, especially when the assumptions of the non-parametric tests, like the independent t-tests, are violated. It does not assume that the data are normally distributive, making it robust against skewedness or normally distributions. It is suitable for ordinal data or when the data are measured on at least an interval scale, an interval scale. When to use it? When to use the data does not meet, when the data does not meet the assumption of the parametric test such as normality or homogeneity of variance when in an independent t regular independent t test when normality or the homogeneity are violated then you can use the man whitney u test when dealing with an ordinal or non normally distributed data it's particularly useful when analyzing small sample size and it doesn't rely on assumptions about the shape of the population distribution. It also it also used when the data are ranked or can be transformed into rank data. Let's take a look at our data sets here. We have two groups. We have group A representing the exam scores of students who attend a traditional lecture-based class, and group B representing a, the test scores of students who attend an interactive discussion-based class. We want to determine if there is a significant difference in the exam scores between the two teaching methods. We can use a man Whitney U test to analyze the data as the exam scores may not be normally distributed and the groups are independent of each other. Two assumptions here one, um, independent samples, and two, ordinal interval data, no assumptions of normality. Let's take a quick look at our hypotheses. The no, there is no difference between the two groups and the alternate. There is a difference between the two groups. And conducting a man Whitney U test using SP. Okay, we're in our SPSS statistical data um, editor, and we have three groups. We have group. B, we have the scores and then we have the group numbers. We can look at this and see that one represents traditional and A represents traditional and B and two represents interactive. We go back and look at that again. Let's take a look at how to analyze the information. Go to analyze, go to non-parametric, we can use this independent t-test. I like to use the legacy dialog. Go down here to two independent samples. We can go there. Score will go into the test 
referable list, and then we'll have our group. We'll go down here to group and variables. We want to define them. As we said before, A is 1 and B is 2. And we can hit continue. We have our man written in type. And let's look at options. Options, we can look at this. We want to put quartiles. We can. I don't normally use that. But I can hit continue and then I can hit OK. All right, we have our descriptive information here with the scores not broken down, but um, we have um, means and then we have medium standard deviation, and then we have it broken down to the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentile. We can go ahead to our rank. We have the number 15 for each one equals 30, and you can see traditional is a lot higher than interactive. We can see that's 20 and that's 10, so that's higher. If we go here to the um, test statistics, we can see our statistic here is um, 31.5, and we can see our z-score here. And a significant level is below 0.05, it's 0.001, so there's a significant difference. And you can say that traditional teaching method um, ranks significantly higher. Okay, interpreting the results, interpretation of the U statistic, we saw that at 31.5 um, discussion of whether to reject or accept the null hypothesis we will reject the null hypothesis hypothesis because there was a significant difference and then we'll have a little short write-up we have that here in comparison of the test scores between the traditional and interactive groups the man Whitney U test reveals statistically significant difference in rank, and you have the statistical information here in the U statistic that the traditional group tended to have higher rank than the interactive group. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis that conclude that there is a significant difference, okay, and that the traditional group exhibiting higher scores on average. We have one other component here that I thought would be good for this presentation and that's real world application in other areas. You know you have health care if you're assessing effectiveness of new medication or treatment by comparing outcomes between treatment and control. You can use Man Whitney based on the normality and the assumption of homogeneity. You have social science. You have right here the examining the difference between psychological variables such as anxiety, stress um, with different groups. And then you have business market research comparing consumer preferences of purchasing behavior between different demographic segments of marketing strategies. So you have this information, if it fits the bill of a man with the U test, you can use it based on the assumptions. Are there any questions? If you have any questions, please um, email me at georgecbradley59 at gmail.com. And please look at my YouTube, and that is um, stat your way and that's my YouTube channel stat your way thank you